بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشراف الأنبياء والمرسلين محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد إخوة الإسلام عباد الله I'm making this particular video on account of or on the occasion of the murder of a rapper referred to as PNB Rock. Now I saw his actual name, the name, his actual name on his identification, uh, and it escapes me at the moment. However, this particular individual PNB Rock uh, was Muslim. In fact, I was having a conversation or a correspondence with our brother Abu Yusuf Khalifa. And in the midst of that correspondence, he may mention that uh, this uh, rapper uh, was a Muslim. May Allah to Baraka wa Ta'ala have mercy on him. And this was something that I was unaware of prior to the correspondence with our brother Abu Yusuf Khalifa. And so I reflected off of, you know, the brother's death because when I heard about it, uh, initially, when it when it first hit, one, I had never heard of him prior to what happened to him. And then two, I just looked at it like, you know, uh, another rapper who was living a lifestyle that is in contradiction to guidance. And th this is the outcome of that. And first and foremost, I hope that what I'm going to say is not offensive to anyone. I don't intend to offend anyone. But the reality is, is that when I realized he was Muslim from the correspondence I have with the brother Khalifa, it caused me to reflect. And I think that um, his death in reality is an admonition uh, to the youth, an admonition to all in reality, but particularly the youth that may be affected and influenced by hip hop culture or hip hop lifestyle. Now, one of the things that I think is really important for not just um, the youth that are not celebrities, but also celebrities, because after that I stumbled across a video, uh, something to the effect of the title, the title was rappers that are Muslim or something to this effect. And so some of the names are f I'm familiar with. Pop Smoke, Rahimahullah, was Muslim. Um... There's another one, NBA Young Boy, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that was his name, or that is his name, and he has a tattoo of Allah uh, in Arabic on his either left or right shoulder, one or the other, at least from that video, that's what I saw the pictures of. Then we have someone like Kevin Gates, who I, who I, who I, who I he have heard of, um, and there was others that were in the video. Their names are not... Uh, Money Bag Yo, I believe that was his name. I could be mistaken. I should have wrote him down, but I didn't. Um, but there were others. The point that I'm making is that the death of, of PNB Rock should be an admonition to the youth and to these other rappers. And I want to premise what I'm saying with the statement of Allah to Baraka wa Ta'ala when he says, Inna Allah that undoubtedly Allah with him is knowledge of the hour and he knows when the rain will descend and he knows what is in the wombs of the woman and no soul knows what it will earn tomorrow and no soul knows in, in, within which land it will die. No soul knows these things. And so when looking at and reflecting on this verse, knowing that tomorrow is not really guaranteed for you, there's no guarantee that any of us are going to see tomorrow, next week, next month, and thus forth and so on, then one of the things that we should reflect upon is the fact that, one, we've been given guidance. We've been given guidance from Allah to Baraka wa Ta'ala. And so it's incumbent upon us to take this guidance, 
and use this guidance in transforming our lives, transforming our lives for the better, for the better. And before a time when we do pass away from this dunya, like Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala, He states, وَاتَّقُوا يَوْمًا تُرْجَعُونَ فِيهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ And fear a day when you will be brought back to Allah. ثُمَّ تُوَفَّى كُلُّ نَفْسٍ مَا كَسَبَتْ وَهُمْ لَا يُظْلَمُونَ And he states that uh, thereafter, and every soul will be repaid of that for that which it earned, and no soul will be dealt with unjustly. No soul will be dealt with unjustly and or oppressively. So we're giving this command in the Quran as an admonition, fear this day. But how do we fear this day? By us properly fearing this day, we, we, uh, yani, reflecting off of it and reflecting off the fact that it's an inevitable journey that we will have to all face, is that our fear of this day will cause us to correct our actions today and every day thereafter uh, as long as we're on this earth. That's what it should do. That's for the person who's benefiting from the guidance that has been bestowed upon him. That he uses that guidance to correct himself day by day, getting better. Day by day. It's an everyday struggle, but one is getting better. One is striving. One is trying. Yani, uh, but if a person is Muslim one year, two years, three years, and his behavior and outlook on life is exactly identical to his behavior and outlook on life uh, the day he took Shahada, then something is wrong. Why? Because now you're not taking this guidance and using it to transform your life to transform yourself, to transform your behavior. And so for a person who is like this, then are they in accordance with the command of Allah when he clearly states, وَسَارِعُوا إِلَى مَغْفِرَةٍ مِّنْ رَبِّكُمْ وَجَنَّةٍ عَرْدُهَا السَّمَاوَاتُ وَالْأَرْضُ عِدَّتْ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ And race and hasten Move swiftly, move quickly to the forgiveness of Allah. And to a paradise, its width is like that of the heavens and the earth, and it's only been prepared for one type of person. As Allah says, Yani, this paradise is prepared for those, for the muttaqin, those that have a taqwa, those that have piety that's based off the text of the Quran and the Sunnah. Those that are allowing this guidance to transform themselves. Uh, I was sent a video of the last Instagram feed that that PNB Rock did before his death, and in the in the video, you know, he was, you know, attempting to smoke weed. He was arguing with his girlfriend, not wife, and. That's for for someone, and, and that's for for someone we would suggest that unfortunately the brother was living in in sin, and so I don't know how long this brother was Muslim. May Allah pardon him. May Allah forgive him. I'm not sure how long he was Muslim, but again, if we are Muslim, one year, two years, three years, four years, five years of our life. And we we're on the same exact level as we were when we first entered into Islam, we first took our Shahada, then this is an indication, this could be an indictment against us. This can be an indictment against us. Why? Because we should be racing to this forgiveness. And there's only one way a person races to the forgiveness of Allah, races to the paradise that Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala has waiting for the muttaqin, and that is by implementing the guidance within one's life, letting this guidance now dictate his outlook on things, dictate his decision making, all right? It transforms him from a person that was one way to a person that's a whole lot better. 
It's an everyday struggle, but there has to be steps that are taken day by day by day. It can't just be we take our shahada and then we say, well, that's it, now I'm, I'm cool. No, it's an everyday struggle until we hit the grave. And we have to be mindful that we don't know when we'll hit the grave. So every day we strive to be a better person, a better Muslim. We strive to be better morally. We strive to be better ethically. We strive to be better religiously and thus forth and so on in order to receive this mercy. So my advice to these rappers, NBA young boy, um, the, the ones that are still with us who are Muslim, um, that if you truly love Allah, your love for Allah is not exhibited by wearing gold chains with Allah, uh, uh, with the Allah peace charms or whatever you want to call it, um, or tattoos of Allah and other than that on, on your on your body. These are not signs that you truly love Allah. These are not signs that you truly love Allah. To the youth that think that you have to wear an Allah shirt or I love Allah shirt, and that these are not signs or indications that you truly love Allah. Let me tell you uh, and, and present to you what love for Allah is based off what Allah says love for Him is. Allah, He says, Kul in kuntum tuhibbun Allah. Fetabiruni. He states, This is Allah. He gave a verbal command to the Prophet Muhammad. He, told, he said to the Prophet Muhammad, Say, meaning say to the people, Say this. And then what did Allah have him say? If you really love Allah, then follow me. Meaning, if you really love Allah, then follow the messenger. Following the messenger is obeying him in whatever he commands. Why? Because it's revelation from Allah. Affirming what he says to be the truth. Regardless if he spoke about things that will happen in the future or things that happened in the past, or he spoke about things that are around us that we can't see. We affirm it to be the truth. Staying away from whatever he prohibited. Right? And being, having some restraint in that regard. And yani, worshiping Allah in accordance with how Allah worshipped him, but that which was presented upon the tongue of the Prophet ﷺ. This is following, this is conformity to the Prophet. This is how you follow him with these steps. So Allah is telling the Prophet, say, if you really love Allah, then follow me, meaning follow the Prophet Muhammad. Yuhabibakum Allah. And then he, Allah continues, say, if you really love Allah, then follow me. Then Allah will love you. Well, if you follow the Prophet, then Allah will love you. And he will forgive you of your sins. So this is how the love of Allah is achieved. This is how the love of Allah is achieved by following the message that was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, allowing this guidance to transform your life by implementation of it. And by implementation of this guidance, you will consequently become a better person in the eyes of people. And that guidance that you're implementing, it will be seen upon you and how you move, how you operate, how you think, how you act, how you look. It will affect you in every way. But if that is not the case, then you will probably have the same behavior as the behavior you had on the day that you accepted Islam. You'll probably move the same way. You'll probably act the same way and thus forth and so on. I want to close with this particular verse, and I hope that the brothers and sisters, those that are listening from the youth, and if it reaches any of these celebrities, that you're understanding it not through the eyes of scorn and discontent, but through the eyes of reflection. But there's a statement of Allah to Baraka Ta'ala where he says, Yamununa alaykum Yamununa alaykum and and aslamu. They they count 
the Yamununa Aleka and Eslemu. They count against you, as, they count as a favor to you that they became Muslim. Kul la tamunu alayya islamakum belillahu yamunu alaykum and hadakum lil imani in kuntum sadiqeen. So Allah gives a verbal command to the Prophet to say to, to these type of people that were acting like this, those that were like, look, it's a favor that we, it's a favor to you that we became Muslim. You know, they had this attitude with the Prophet So Allah said, uh, commanded the Prophet to say that to these types of people, do not count as a favor to me uh, your Islam. On the contrary, Allah favored you by guiding you to faith, if indeed you are truthful. If indeed you are truthful. So that was another rapper, one named Lil Durk, uh, NBA young boy, uh, French or Frenchy Montana, I could, could be mixing up the name, and there were some other people. You celebrities, you rappers, uh, your Islam was a favor bestowed upon you from Allah. The fact that you became Muslim, the fact that you were guided, this was a favor bestowed upon you from Allah. So take advantage of this favor that you've been given that many have not. And allow this favor, the, the, the favor of guidance, to transform you, to make you a better person. By what? How? By implementing it. The way that, that Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala intends. It's an everyday struggle. But you took, the, you took a step when you took Shahada. That doesn't mean once you took Shahada that now it's over. No, you have to keep taking steps. You'll be taking steps bettering yourself to the day that you pass away. Believe me when I say that. But the point is to keep progressing, keep moving forward. Don't come to a standstill. Especially if where you're stopping at, Yanni, was, Yanni, where you're stopping at, your circumstance or your situation would suggest that your, your life is engulfed in sin. Your life is engulfed in sin. Why? Because that's not going to help you. That's going to harm you. You all are different from people that don't know. Say, are those that know equal to those that do not know? No, they're not. Because why? A person who doesn't know may have an excuse. But a person who does know, you knew this was right and this was wrong. You have no excuse with Allah. You have no excuse because you knew better. So if you know better, act better. And I hope that this, these statements will be received in a positive manner and not in a negative manner. And I ask Allah to forgive both PNB Rock and Pop Smoke for their shortcomings and their faults to forgive them uh, for, 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 the, for, for their shortcomings and faults, pardon them and wipe these, uh, wipe their evil deeds away uh, or erase their evil deeds from their scrolls. And Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala is capable of all things. And with that, Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika shadwan la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.